would dare achieve a new world record by rowing furthest, solo and unassisted across the Atlantic? Try Ryan Jacobs, a war photographer with a passion for adventure and who dares not know the meaning of impossible. I was very lucky to have a family that's very supportive in the sense that if I came up with something or an idea, there was never someone to say, oh, that's impossible or that can't be done. And so it's just been slowly building this adventure resume. I guess it starts when you're a kid, when you discover new things and, you know, there's never been, oh, I can't go there or I can't go further. It's always been, what else is there? I wanted a job that allowed me to travel, that allowed me to experience, which enabled me to see the world, which enabled me to meet all kinds of people, to, to learn. Photography was definitely the, the best start for me in terms of seeing what I can do and how far I can go. Covering the uprisings in Libya and Syria, Ryan learned that second chances in life are rare and that he had to live on his own terms. You know, I wanted to be a conflict photographer. I wanted to be a war photographer. I didn't want to be any other type of photographer. And working in, in challenging situations and working in hostile environments made me realize and gave me what I needed. Like, I know how to get to places that most people can't even imagine getting to. I know how to survive in hostile environments. That's a good thing. I think, you know, the one downside about, about having this early adult life of all this excitement and adventure is that it set the bar very, very high. You know, and that led to climbing and led to sailing. But essentially all I was doing after those years was trying to catch up with that same high, that same feeling. I wanted to row across the Atlantic from Cape Town to Barbados in December this year. It's 5,300, probably more in nautical miles. But it is how I start to get to the sum of my ambition for adventures. And that is to become the first African person of color to solo to the South Pole. And I don't even know how to ski. Yeah, over there. So my plan is to go from Cape Town up the west coast of Southern Africa to Namibia, and then turn west, crossing the Atlantic Ocean with the Great Circular out and the prevailing winds until I get to South America, and then follow the coast to the Caribbean. The immediate challenge is raising funds for his craft to be built here in Cape Town. This boat's gonna be my, my home for four months, probably longer. It needs to be self-sufficient. All power will be environmentally friendly and you know, generated by solar power and managed to batteries. I need to make my own water for four months and that's a, you know, that's a desalinator. Besides that, there's all the navigation, communications equipment that goes into it. There's the training, there's nutrition. Four months of freeze-dried meals and oils is gonna be not pleasant. My body will take an absolute beating. A four months of isolation is something I've never experienced. I think the longest I've been alone is 10 days on a trail. It's one thing for me to say, oh, I can do this and I'll be all fine. But I don't really know unless I try it. But at the same time, I don't really mind being alone. I'm my best company. You know, I can entertain myself for forever. And being alone for that long, on one hand, is terrifying, but on the other hand, it's maybe exactly what I need. The big question is why? You know, a big part of why I want to do this is representation, or the lack thereof in South Africa and globally, in the outdoor and adventure space. I do not see people like me represented in it. You know, we live in a very diverse country, and I don't see people like me. And that's something I want to change. Representation is a very, very powerful tool. It validates people. It encourages people, it inspires people. The dedication to make his dreams happen comes from his mother and grandparents. This is my roommate and partner for the next few months. You know, it's one thing to, to row a boat, but I need to be able to row a boat for months on end, every day. And a good way to build up that endurance and stamina is, is rowing on this salt rower. I just got this machine and what I'm trying to do right now is familiarize myself with rowing. I need to build up my stamina, number one, and also um, discomfort. I think by embracing discomfort, so sometimes I row at three o'clock in the morning, sometimes I row at 10 o'clock at night, 
And it depends, sometimes I'll go for 30 minutes and then other times I try to go for two hours. I'm still 10 months away from my expedition, but I want to get my mind and body as prepared as possible. Turning Ryan's physique and metabolism into an extreme endurance machine is Grant Hartzenberg's challenge. He said he's got something quite crazy to do, and he asked um, if I wouldn't mind helping him. Immediately off the top of my head, he didn't have to go any further. I was just like, okay, cool, let's do it. Conditioning, 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 as much as I can. And then besides him sorting out his mind, get the body as right as can, and nutrition. And yeah, that's gonna be the main aspect of his training. Among his goals is to get more people experiencing the world for real, not from a little screen. You know, my, my biggest goal in life is to make the most of myself. And yes, I am a photographer and I love doing other things and I, I, I do various things to make a living. But at the same time, it's not the be all and end all. It's not what I'm on this planet for. My purpose is adventure. And for me to make that dream come true, I need to dedicate everything, every waking second to making it come true. I know I'm not gonna, I know I'm not gonna change the world, but I think if I could inspire one kid to do something extraordinary or push that a little bit further, I think I will have succeeded. His city is surrounded by the Atlantic. Beautiful to look at, but much more fun to cross. The ocean is one of the last great wildernesses where it remains largely untouched. It's a desert. It's where I'll be able to push myself and test myself and see how far I can go because it's unforgiving. It's just finding a goal, latching onto it, and doing whatever it takes to finish it. His preparations are an achievement in themselves. Follow Ryan on Instagram and watch him fulfill the dreams he had as a child. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.